The New England Colonies The New England Colonies were among the first settlements to be established in America. They included the present-day states of New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island and Connecticut. These colonies were all British colonies established as either charter colonies or royal colonies. In a charter colony, a charter was granted to the colonists, which gave them permission to exist and self-govern. In a royal colony, the colonists were controlled directly by the monarchy. Plymouth Bay Colony was the first permanent settlement established in New England. The pilgrims arrived here in 1620 after a long voyage on the Mayflower. Conditions were harsh in the new colony, farming was difficult and the weather was often unforgiving. William Bradford, the governor of Plymouth Bay Colony, developed good relations with the Native Americans. They taught the colonists how to farm in the area and what crops would be fruitful. The help of the Native Americans was a huge factor in the success of the colony. The next group of colonists to arrive in the New World were the Puritans. The Puritans were a very religious group of people who were looking to purify the church. They were not able to practice their religion freely under the Church of England, so they left to escape religious persecution. Under the leadership of John Winthrop, the Puritans established the Massachusetts Bay Colony. Life here was centered on religion. The Puritans believed that all aspects of life should revolve around completing God's work. Strict rules were enforced. If you didn't follow Puritan teachings, you would be punished. The Puritans were not tolerant of other religious teachings, which is ironic considering that is the reason that they fled England. Several other colonies branched out from Massachusetts Bay. In 1636, Roger Williams founded the colony of Rhode Island. Williams believed in the separation of church and state. Unlike in the Massachusetts Bay colony, you could practice religion freely here, even if it wasn't Puritanism. Thomas Hooker established one of the first settlements in Connecticut known as Hartford. He left the Massachusetts Bay Colony because he didn't agree with the idea that only male landowners who belonged to the Puritan Church could vote. He believed that all males should be able to vote regardless of religion or property qualifications. Overall, the New England colonies faced many hardships. The thin, rocky soil limited the crops that could be grown by the colonists. The growing seasons were short due to the harsh New England winters. This caused colonists to become subsistence farmers, only growing enough food for their families. Despite the harsh climate and rocky soil, the New England colonies had numerous natural resources available to them. Living in forests provided an abundance of timber. The colonists used the timber to build their homes and to grow their economy. The timber was used in shipbuilding, an important industry in the region. Living along the coast of the Atlantic Ocean, fish and whales became important resources to the colonists. The fishing industry grew and benefited the colonial economies. By 1560, 60% 60 of the fish consumed in England arrived by way of colonial boats. The New England colonies were established by English settlers looking for freedom and new opportunities. Life wasn't easy for these settlers due to harsh climates and thin rocky soil. They persevered and flourished into colonies with strong economies. Eventually, the New England colonies would play a vital role in the politics of the American colonies, pushing for independence from England.